Oh, yep, you gotta have your key. The Lamborghini Sansonum system, or Lamborghini sound option, is $4,200. What the hell do you get for your money? As far as I'm concerned, nothing but a headache. A lot of people feel like the sound of the V12 is all the music you'll ever need. But I am not one of those people. When I'm in traffic or just driving around at low speeds, I like to listen to music. And with the OEM system provided by Lamborghini, that is simply not possible. So here's the deal with the Sensonum. No one, and that's asking around, looking on the internet, and even talking to Lambo salespeople. No one seems quite sure what you get with the Sensonum upgrade. You've got four speakers, two mids in the doors, and two dash tweeters. And there's an amp buried in the car somewhere too. So what's wrong with the sound, specifically? Well, for one thing, it's like a karaoke machine. Whatever processing they do drowns out the vocals on everything. You can fiddle with the treble and the bass all you want, but you'll get something that's so ear-piercing you'll cry, or so boomy that it induces nausea. Not to mention, the stereo doesn't have enough power to play at decent levels without some severe distortion. The adjustments on my phone didn't help at all either. I should also mention that I had the opportunity to test out a stereo of a 2020 SVJ. Same awful sound. Amazing. In the worst way. I decided the next step was the hardware. So I tried the simple thing first, and I kicked off my adventure by replacing the tweeters. I thought maybe they had some kind of crossover issue, or they were defective, so I put in some JL Audio tweeters, and this isn't a how-to guide, but the trim pieces on the dash pop off pretty easily, the tweeter harness can be detached with a pick tool, and you need to be really careful because the harness can fall back inside the dash, and it is a nightmare to get out. You can see I tied some string around the base of my harnesses, so if they fell in, I could pull them back out. With the new tweeters, the vocals were absolutely improved. Ten times better. Still garbage. It was at this point I decided to mess with the door speakers. Now the door panel is held on with just two bolts. So you remove those two bolts and the whole carbon fiber panel just lifts right off. If you want to see the speaker, you can also just pop the grill off and you will discover that they are paper speakers, which is probably a Sensonum upgrade. I thought maybe the door speakers were an issue because even with the tweeters disconnected, there was still this shrill, distorted piercing sound that was part of every song. So I swapped in some kicker three-way speakers, even with this delightful and terrible speaker adapter that I made. The improvement wasn't enough to permanently swap them, and sound deadening was not the issue, and that wasn't gonna help here either, just for the record. After that worthless experimentation, I could see the speakers weren't the problem. So my attention turned to the amplifier. Now the Lamborghini website lists the Sansonum upgrade as a DSP amp, and that's an acronym for Digital Signal Processing. If that is what the amp was, then it was doing a really bad job. I would found this post from a forum member who said that he looked at the amp and discovered that it was wired incorrectly. So the next step was then to find the amp. I actually sent a message to him, but I never got any reply. So I was on my own for this, and I decided to take the center console apart first. Not there. Second guess was behind the seats. So here's a fun montage of removal of stuff. Uh, the trim behind the seats just pops off. You can see here how it's held on. Then I decided to pull out the passenger seat so I'd have better access to the amp. That's just four screws on the chair rail. You just tip the seat back, disconnect the two harnesses, and then carefully lift the seat out of the car. That gives you unfettered access to the amp. So I removed the amp from the mounting brackets, and then I had to figure out how to pull this plastic harness off so I could have better access to the wires. Once the cover's off, then the world's your oyster. So here's a breakdown of everything going into the amplifier. You've got your power and your ground wires. These are CAN bus wires. This is the input signal wires, there's four of those. And then there's the wires running the amplified signal back out to the four speakers. Easy enough. So I played with the inputs. I switched them, I crossed them, I swore at them. Nothing really made any difference. And after some extensive experimenting, I concluded that the amp was not wired wrong. It was just terrible. Like, the worst. Ever. Uh, I feel like if you really care about listening to music in your Lamborghini, and, and I totally get it if you don't, I really do, but I feel like if you do want to listen to music, the only option is to go with something aftermarket. So I've gone ahead and I've cut all the wires, I've got them stripped, and we're going to start the process of installing some really nice components. We've opted for speakers from Morel, the Supremo 602 series 6.5 inch component set, 
We're also going to put in a 10 inch Morel sub, although I'm a little concerned about how much weight we're adding to the car, so that could go either way. For the amps, we've got these beautiful audio control units and of course some sound shield here for good measure. This is going to be a big project, so I've teamed up with Lux Automotive on this one. Uh, no part of this is sponsored, so I will be totally honest about um, the process of the installation and how the system sounds and you know, no, no strings attached on this one. I feel like an awesome car deserves an awesome stereo. It's super hard to convey like how bad a stereo sounds through YouTube. I, on this one, I mean, maybe you don't care or you can just take my word for it, but this is something that I've got to do. I'm super excited about this project. Good things ahead, so stay tuned. We'll catch you next time. Thank you.